We are in the kitchen now where earlier today's dish was granted full ceremonial honours. Yes, so to mark Burns Night, the Hebridean baker brought his veggie haggis into the studio, <laughs> accompanied by a piper from the Royal Scots Guard. I mean, yeah. as you do. Lovely moment. <laughs> and Cunnick's here now to show us how you can make it. Wow. Well, Falcher, Falcher Shan, Falcher, oh. Dermot. Now, I've got some bad news. Oh. oh. Unfortunately, the sheep's lung and sheep's stomach didn't make it down to an outer Hebrides, so oh. I'm going to make you a vegetarian haggis. Well, that's even better. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. It's better for the sheep. Be it <laughs> is indeed. They're, they're very grateful. Sheep's very happy about it. Yes. The sheep is very happy. And genuinely, this is so easy to make, literally so easy to make. Even if you want to, you could soak your lentils overnight, but you can, gan you can get prepped lentils. That's going to go in here. I think I guess the lovely thing is as well, with all the lovely herbs and, and, and so forth and flavours in it, that you know, it's not something that you, you wouldn't necessarily... I love haggis, but you wouldn't yes. necessarily have to miss the meat. Yeah, you're totally right. Oh, no, it's, it, it's meat. There is something about it that does going to... And that is probably... I put the onion and carrots in there. But this is pinhead oats, much better, because it gives a bit of texture as well to, to, to the recipe. So that's going to go in. Pinhead oats, do you only use those for cooking, or could you have those as porridge? You could have them for porridge. You have to be a wee bit hardcore. Yeah. Uh, you know, are you a porridge? Yeah, I actually love a bit of porridge. I love yeah, a bit of porridge as yeah. well. Yeah. So that's the nuts going in. Look how easy. The, everything's just going to go in. Is that just hazelnuts? Uh, that's hazelnuts. Some vegetable suet, of course, to go in as well. And then I've got some vegetable stock that's going to go in. Just okay. pour that in and mix it together. Can you, I don't want to offend anyone here, go so on. you can tell me off if I'm being disgraceful. Is there any similarity with this in, like, stuffing? <sighs> Um, is it not so, that texture? I'm trying to work no, out what I'm going not, to be eating. Yeah, it, it, it's got something different to it because of the suet, um, as well as the... the, the, the it, it's got to feel like this. It's a wee bit like a nut roast. Is like a, a nut roast. Is that a way to think about it? Yeah. Um, but in a really nice way. But what is great in this is any haggis should be quite fiery from the pepper and a little bit of nutmeg as well. Um, so really, with the stock that I've put in, that's it. That literally is it. That's going to go into a, a buttered dish. Let's test this, my agility. Is it the suet that will hold that together? It's the suet that's going to hold that together in the oven, exactly, along with the, um, the stock. So that's going to go in. Smells I'm going... nice already, actually. That's exciting. Mm. Uh, so that's going to go in to the oven, 25 minutes with the foil on, then yeah. about 20 minutes with the foil off. OK. Is that to stop it going sort of dry? It's going to stop it getting a wee bit too toasty. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I, well, firstly, we should be saying slanja to Rabbi Burns. Slanja, everybody. Rabbi. Cheers. Are you going to go for this, Sean? Yeah, go on, let me try a bit. Oh, I only had a sip. Wowza. Can't be like good at whiskey, isn't that great? But what goes better with a wee <laughs> dram of whiskey oh, than the vegetable has it? So it should look a little bit toasty, so it's got that kind of texture of the top as well. Um, and I'm going to serve you a slice each of this. Excuse the hands. I love this. Here. And, right, I'm going to get this Go right. On. I'm sure I am. This is the neeps and tatties, right? This is the neeps and tatties. Yeah. So turn them someplace. That's a non-negotiable uh, with that. But I'm going to serve you that, but I'm going to make you... We can't that yet, can we? Well, I'm going to make a quick sauce. whiskey sauce yeah. okay. first. Exactly. So into the pan is going to go just a quick knob of butter. Tony, can you tell us a little bit about you while you're doing this? So when, where did you get into Yeah, so I, I, I'm going to call myself a passionate home baker. And I've been so lucky. I've been Scotland's best-selling cookbook author for the past three years Incredible. with my three cookbooks. Well done. Um, but you can follow me, my adventures on Instagram, Hebridean Baker. You'll see me on top of mountains with my kilt on, oh, baking. Yes. So you cook all, all over the place? Napkins, all over the place. What, do you, yes. Are you the kind of person what, dragging, dragging the ovens and stoves and barbecues all, anyway? All that kind of thing. Yeah, all great. that kind of thing. So, so the whiskey is just going to simmer in there with some mustard. Yeah. So by the time you serve that, does, it, does the alcohol come out of the whiskey? Yeah, the alcohol will... It's just the flavour yeah. rather than the actual alcohol that's going in. This is the stock. Mm -hmm. That's going in as well. And once that simmers down, because you will want it to simmer down, which we won't do just now, then you're going to put the double cream in to the pan. And you just want it to be a kind of gravy texture. Okay. So that's how Is that quite a want. low heat then? Yes. So can I give oh. you a wee pour of this? What's this? Okay. Yes, please. So this is the whiskey sauce. Mm. Thank you. Go. We want for you. 
We want for you. Is this a typical Burns night, by the way? Would you always be cooking? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Cooking, a wee Kaylee dance. Oh, nice. Love a Kaylee. And maybe a sing song or two. Oh, um, but give that a try. Oh, ho, ho. I'll just be here having the whiskey. Yeah, you help yourself. Conic's really good. Is it good? So, oh, like, it how, really is. That is how delicious. How easy was that I to thought make? it needed the sauce, and it doesn't need the sauce. Oh, it's so well. creamy, it's though. I mean, the sauce, gives, gives, sauce just gives it absolute, like, little bit extra. But, but it holds Conic, together so delicious. nice. It's isn't it? It's so good. I thought it might be dry, but it's not dry no, at all. No, so nice. The stock will give it that extra flavour. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, hopefully people will try that at home for tonight. I think it's an easy it's, one to try. It's like a store cupboard. You're going to have everything in the cupboard tonight. Yeah. Um, so our whole week this week has been comfort food. Mm. We've taken it like we've said it's taken a break today, but it hasn't at all. Not at all. That's this absolutely is pure comfort the food. dream. And of course, it's going to be washed down with a, a wee dram or two. Of as course. Well. <laughs> I think this is the way that we, everything should be washed down. Really, you got it right. Totally right. Have a wonderful right. Burns night. Cheers. Oh, Vicky McClure's here already. Come on in. More an advocate of a, oh. of a sausage roll. It has to be that said. We heard. But... <laughs> what do you want to try? Anything. I just thought we could get you a... So yeah, delicious. How are you? I'm good, are you? Nice to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can you, Vicky, Nottingham Vicky, Vicky, no, Nottingham girls together oh, today. It's going to be I an absolute this. Nottingham Hi. Hi. love fest coming Happy soon. The details of today's recipe. You can scan the QR code on the screen now, which uh, will take you straight to this morning app. Good, isn't it? I'm in McClure. I'm in. <laughs> She's in. She's sold.